Hi, this is Amy Guild with Memory Montage Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to make album designs and other designs using Photoshop. So first of all, before I start any project, I want to make sure I'm using um, the right size of document. So I usually just start with a template that was provided by our printing lab, so I know I have you know the 10 by 10 album spread right with the right guidelines and everything. So here's my blank document for me to start an album design. So first of all, I want to um, choose the little spaces where I'm going to insert photos later. So essentially I'm going to make my own template. So first of all, I choose a shape over here. I'll just start with a basic square. And let's see, I like this size. Okay, that's good. So now I can take this one and just copy it using the option alt button. Okay, copy it again. Copy it again. Okay, may not be perfect, but I can fix it later. And then over here, I want to do a bigger square. Okay, great. So now you've just created an album template, um, and you can save this as a Photoshop file and come back and use it again later. But I'll show you now how to insert pictures. So let's start with our big image here. We're on this square. So for that one, I want to do this dress shot. So I pull on the photo that I want in the big square, and I have the free transform on here so I can see the, um, the little box to transform it. If you don't have that turned on, um, just go up to edit, and make sure it says the free transform is on, so then you can see the boxes. But anyway, so I'll um, size this to where I want it within the box. So right about there looks good. Okay, so it's right on top of the um, box over here in my layer. So I just right click, go create clipping mask, and it has um, clipped it to fit within that box. Okay, so then you just go through and do the same for all the other um, black squares you've made. So now I can add the other detail shots to this album page. Um, if you're not familiar with resizing like this, I'm just holding down the shift button so I can size it to where I want it over here. And press enter to place it. Create the clipping mask. Okay, looks good. And so say um, later when I'm done with the page I decide I don't want that dress shot there anymore. All you have to do is right click and release the clipping mask and then you can easily just delete it or you know whatever you want to do. So Anyways, hope this has been helpful. Be sure and stop by our blog every Tuesday for Tuesday Photography Tips and Tricks. See you there. Thanks.